Lachlan uh, Giles has a really cool video on the dog fight position. It's this position where we're hip to hip. And in video number two, I show how to finish the outside single from there. Now, <clears throat> here's the thing. Everything he's going to show you from there, the guy's very legit. He knows what he's doing. I just want to add to it. I'm not taking anything away from what he's doing. I also want to show like what I would do as a wrestler from that position because I'll tell you in wrestling, that position sucks. And the main reason is I have to avoid my back in wrestling. So if I come up to his waist and he's got a whizzer and he smashes me down, he could potentially get a takedown and back control and you know the uh, back counts and what that looks like he gets there from half most of us would get there from half guard but you could also get there from a single leg like if you're trying to finish the single leg and you come here and he his wizard pulls you up okay the other way to get there would be um from the underhook position or from the um half guard position and you're coming up to the waist here and then you're you're fighting to this position okay um everything that he shows is obviously awesome he's a great jujitsu player i'm going to show you what i would do as a wrestler so as a wrestler, I, I am very scared in this position because if he has inside position with his leg, he's extraordinarily powerful with this overhook because he could just smash me and then he could cover me and put me on my back. Okay, and that would be very bad because I would lose back points and in wrestling, it's gonna be over. There's, there's a reason why this is called a dog fight because it's hard, okay? Because um, I have inside control with my arm but he's got inside control with his hips. And I'm telling you right now that this is more powerful than this. And if you don't believe me, watch my video on the ADCC. And I've been saying this before that, before ADCC came out, is stop coming up to the freaking waist and walking around people with a side body lock. You're not as tough as you think you are from that position. People are tougher because they have the inside control. And this is the same position here because all he has to do is elevate this leg and, and pressure down right and smash me god that actually hurt <laughs> but see if we're wrestling now like he could try to cover me and put me to my back and then i'm in a lot of trouble because i'm losing back points now if you're in jujitsu you're like oh i'll just recover to half guard or whatever okay now if it's me right so lachlan has a bunch of really awesome stuff that he does from this video in his video but um if i can't so what uh let me tell you what i want to do what i want is to get back down to the single. Because if I can get back down to this single leg, let's turn so they can see the back. If I can get back down to here, his wizard's gone. Even if it's in there, it's not, it's not tough. Mm -mm. It's not tough at all, okay? He's got a wizard, he's got pressure here, he has nothing here, okay? And keep that far, leg far away from me, I know he's got a bad hip. Um, but here, once I get to this position, Okay, and I drop, and I, I want my elbow to the floor. If I can get it here, the lower I get, the harder of a time he's gonna have. Because he can't just like spin around and face me and all these things that people get away with. You're not gonna get away with it at high level competition. And what I'm gonna do, if I get to this position, is I'm gonna start circling this knee out. See how his, see how his upper body starts turning away when I start circling this knee out? Okay, now I can shelf this and finish low. And there's a reason I want to finish low. <clears throat> okay, I didn't cover it on my double leg video, meant to, but I'll cover it on here. If I come up to the waist, he can just grand me. Okay, so I think some people don't, they think I'm just old, and so I'm just teaching old wrestling, <laughs> like old man wrestling. I wasn't telling you why, and I will tell you why now. You finish low on the legs because the most powerful part of a man is from here to here. And if I have both of his legs together and wrapped up, he's not grand being, he's got no offense, he's got no legitimate defense. Once I come up to the waist though, he can stand up. If you think Cade Rutolo is gonna just let you like, you think Cade Rutolo is just gonna like let you hang out there? That kid's gonna smash your face into the mat. But if you wrapped up both of his legs, he's still tough. But he's less tough because you've taken away a very powerful part of that kid. He's extremely athletic and that's coming from here, okay? So now Lachlan has all these awesome ways of getting there, right? And he's, he's an amazing jujitsu player. Um, when I do jujitsu, if I recover, most of the time I don't try to get here, okay? Go ahead and cover over top of me. Most of the time I don't try to be like a half guard player, okay? Uh, because of guys like him who will, who will beat me to death. 
But if I recover because I was in a bad position and I recovered a half guard or whatever, what I try to do is I try to pull guys forward and then I try to get to the single, okay? And then I try to work my way up. Let me show, I guess this is always working better from the backside. So, all right. So if we're here, right? Lachlan is coming to here and then working all of his magic. Watch everything that he shows because he is an amazing jujitsu player. But I'm not. <laughs> okay, I'm just getting into jujitsu and I want to show you how you can wrestle from certain positions if I can Then I want to bump him forward and I go to the single leg here and I take my outside leg and I start turning him Okay, now I get up to this elbow and I start to work my, my outside single leg position here shelf the leg Come to the back Right and start working my way up. Okay. He'll probably turn and face me. Yeah and all of that, okay? Now, Belly I down. did. Belly down. Now I did watch. I'm gonna link Lachlan's video in here too, um, or at least the the two that I saw. He was a videos of him rolling with it, and and he he's got a bunch of great stuff from there. I'm not gonna cover what he shows because he already shows it. Um, just some extra stuff that I would do as a wrestler. But um, one of the things that I um, want to cover is I don't I don't necessarily try to go to the waist. But if I end up on the waist, I want out of there. Let me show you how to get out of there. Um, because, so that was why I, I try to pull people, right? Oh, I know what I was gonna say. Because if I'm in on, he, he has this awesome, I, I picked this up from him. I think that he's, he's a great teacher. He was saying, you're gonna get darsed from here if you're not smart, right? If you come up to the waist here, just right around the grab, he says you'll get darsed. We're not darser guys, but, but like Rutolo is. But he was saying, this will make it even harder if he comes up high. I think he goes to the far worm, right? Me, personally, I feel that if I can get him low enough and I go really low here, right, from here, it's also very difficult for him to darse me, okay? And that's when I'm, I'm stepping here, and, I'm, and the biggest thing is me turning this knee out. Don't try to do it with your arms, okay? Like I say in video number two, I want my forearms rested on the floor here, and uh, go ahead and get the wizard, and he'll be here. Right, and I want to transfer his weight. So this is this is the positional battle that you're gonna have. I'm gonna be up around his waist. Okay, we're gonna talk about the dog fight here. Okay, that's the position I want to be in. But let's say I can't get there. Right? Let's say I came up off, off the waist. I didn't get darched on the way up, and I in this position, which is the position Lachlan's talking about, the dog fight. Here's the problem. He wants to put my weight on this leg. Okay, and then now I'm in trouble. See how I can't, now see how I can't get my arm back down, okay? I want to put his weight over there. How are we going to win this battle? Is it that the strongest man wins? Okay, it's not. What's going to happen is to get there, okay, because he's got inside control. I have to respect that. He's got power. And if he's pushing into me and putting my weight over here, I'm not shelving that leg now. So how am I going to get it? I'm going to get it by twisting his knee out. See, uh, and if you look closely, here, turn around. If you look closely, the way I'm doing it, we're here. I'm gonna windshield wiper this out. See how I'm keeping my foot parallel to the floor? And, and then I'm, I'm windshield light wiping that knee out. Now I can get my body behind it. See, that puts the weight on his far leg now. Because once I wheel, windshield wiper here and I'm pushing, okay, it's super light now. Now, trust me when I tell you, I don't want to stay up here. Now that I've got his waist down here, or his weight on that side, I drop down. You see how it's already he's already losing it? See how he's almost falling to that hip when I drop down? And it's because I'm lifting here. I'll come over here. Isn't that amazing how well that works? I have no power from there. I can't. I, I mean, barely, he's so strong, dude. I barely can move from that position. It's, and it's all, well, I'll show it from the front. Um, I think that that's the best way of showing it. Yeah, okay. Yeah, yeah. So we're here and, and we're in the dog fight and he's gonna put pressure into me and I'm putting pressure into him. But it's not the strongest person's gonna win this battle. Don't do that. You're not gonna, it's dumb. That's why it's called a dog fight because people are fighting, okay? You're taking this foot and you're swinging it out now. See how, it, see how it, his weight went over there? I have him now. I have positional control. I'm gonna drop down. And I've shown this from the standing position too. Now that I drop down, now I can get my body behind this, shelf it, and climb up to side control. Okay, so that's, that's the game. If I pull his leg out, you can do it in wrestling. They don't like you to rip it, but if you're controlling it, and you, by the way, you better, 
because if you stay in that position for more than a few seconds, they blow the whistle all for nothing, okay? So I want to be down low. I don't want to be up high. So a lot of times what people do is they, they can't get back down to low because they haven't transferred the weight over there. I have to transfer the weight over there. The only way I'm going to do it is by turning his knee out. When I turn his knee out, his weight goes this way. Now I can drop back down to the single, okay? Works every time. Climbing up to the top, yeah, climbing up isn't, isn't the way to do it because his legs are back on the ground and that's where his power is. Staying low, I'm taking his power away. So, um, okay, so now let's say this is just a beast of a human being and I'm back in the dog fight and he's got inside control and I'm like, we've been here, let's say a few times and, and that sort of stuff isn't working for me. He's smart. He knows when I start doing this, that he's going to pressure, he's going to be putting it all. Okay. So now what I do is I go, okay, I'm not winning this battle. I don't want him to have inside control anymore and I'm not going to get his back. That was the benefit of me doing it before is I can get his back. Okay. So now what I'm going to do is I'm coming out and I'm going to get my knee in front of his. And now we're straight up wrestling because I can come up here if I want, but there's not a reason to, because I just go straight to the cement mixer and you see how I'm blocking him now. This is the same position that I've taught before, just to come up to your waist, of having inside body lock position. See, this is the same position when I'm back here as having side body lock position. Remember what happens from side body lock position? Yes, <laughs> I'll get owned because he has inside position. So I get inside position, don't go to the bottom, I come ahead and cement mixer him over. Now I can start working some offense, working the arms, whatever. It put me in a good position from the, from, got me out of the dog fight, okay? So, uh, let's show it from the back. You're right, this was gonna be a longer video. <laughs> Dom's like, this is gonna be a long video. So yeah, so he's, I'm trying to, I'm trying to make this work for me. It's not working, he's not giving it to me. I can't get down because he's too freaking strong and he's too good at knowing the game which is he doesn't want me transferring this, so we're in this battle. So I'm gonna come here, and I'm blocking, I'm gonna cement mixer, pancake him, take this knee out, and I block here, okay? And I come to the cement mixer, and pull him over, okay? Now, the reason that this works is because I'm blocking his knee, and then now, there's a, I'm pulling him across it, and you see how he's got no, he's got no post, because it's gone? It'll never work from here. Don't even try it. <laughs> if, I, if I come up here, you know, over, because he's got, he's got the power here. So I have to come here, then come here and rip him over. Now, if it's me and they turn into me, I'm going to start trying to work this arm, right? And I'm, I like the Kimura. I'll step over. I'll go to the Kimura. But Dom had a really good point. If we cement mixer them and they turn away, they open their throat and he goes to north-south, and then he finishes the choke from there. And he's got some really great details. There's a bunch of people online that have really great details of finishing north-south. This guy's really good at it. He pins your far arm to the ground, and he puts a tremendous amount of pressure on it. But the point is, the dog fight just went to an awesome position, and that is wrestling. Like, yes, you can, you know, in wrestling, all you have to do is have an arm in there if your hands are locked. If your hands aren't locked, you can still do the north-south, and it's still a choke, and it's still a pin, and it's still legal. <laughs> You're allowed to just pin their hand down and go to there. This is straight up. Yeah, yeah, if you lock, but you don't have your hands locked, you're allowed to choke the way that he does from the north-south. I sit my far hip, the side my hand is on, I drop my hip, my other leg, the hip, Stay, the knee stays in this hip, so he can't turn into me. Move. Now I just slowly, incrementally, incrementally move. So that second one where I block the knee and pull him over, if he turns into me, I'm looking for his arms to attack. If he turns away, and that was such a brilliant thing that he brought up, when they turn away, he drops his lat right on their throat, goes right to north-south. And, you can, and he'll bring the pressure, he'll drop his hip, and you couldn't, she, you couldn't slide a sheet of paper under him. Like he is flat on the ground and all the weight's there and I'm tapping before he even gets fully out, but he controls that, that arm because it's sort of like a ghost escape. Um, when I pull him here, see this arm here underneath 
is almost all the way through my stomach. And so when, if they turn away, <clears throat> then that's when he's coming to the north-south and then he blocks this far arm. And Dom exposes that throat and really and gets the tap. Um, I wasn't very, just today he taught me all his little details. I'm not showing it here because again, not a black belt in jujitsu. So uh, I don't want to pretend like I am a black belt in jujitsu. Okay, I don't like when people go outside their expertise. I'm showing you how to wrestle <clears throat> for jujitsu because I'm 31 years in wrestling, three years into jujitsu. Okay, so that's how I would operate from there. I would also operate from half guard by trying to pull him forward with my knee so that I can get to the outside single and not go to the waist first. But if it happens, it happens. <clears throat> but I would want from half guard to pull him all the way forward with my knee if I can to get to the outside single. And then that way I don't have to worry about the whole waist thing. I'm already in an advantageous position, okay? So if you're new to the channel, uh, thanks for watching. And if you're a follower, thanks again. Like and subscribe if you're not uh, new, if you aren't subscribed yet and share the videos. Please comment everything that we're doing now is based off of people's comments. And so happy to help. Um, thanks again.